up to this point, if we've been given a parametric equation, uh, we've had to graph it by hand, and we've had to either eliminate the parameter, which is a little time consuming, or make up a chart with t's, x's, and y's, and make up a table, which is also pretty time consuming. But it turns out you can graph these guys on your calculator, you just have to know how to do it. So in this video, I just want to give you some steps on how you would go through and graph a parametric equation using your calculator. So the first thing you have to do, the big thing, is you have to change the mode of your calculator from the mode it's currently in, which is called function mode, where you have like y's and x's, into a mode called parametric mode. And then before you graph it, the other thing you have to do is adjust your window, and that includes your t values, because your, your graph is only going to um, be drawn for t's that range over what you've specified. And then once you've defined your x min and x max and y min and y max and the range for t, then you can proceed with, with graphing it. So uh, let, let me show you how this works. And, um, and after I, I show you these steps, we're actually going to graph an example here of a, a parametric equation with sines and cosines. All right, so let me pull up my t, uh, TI 84 here. All right, and so uh, if you were to right now go into y equals, you would have this that you're probably very familiar with. And so you could enter in a function of x. You know, you push graph, and there it is. So we, we know how to do that. But the problem is, is that this is in rectangular mode, uh, or function mode, rather, that has x's and y's. So here's what we're going to do. Go uh, back to your home screen and change the mode, pu push the mode button, which is at the, the top of your calculator. And on the fourth row, change the mode from FUNC, that's function mode, to PAR, which is parametric mode. And when you push enter, the main screen won't look any different, but when you go to y equals, you notice that it's now accepting parametric input as opposed to rectangular input. You have x's and y's, and when you even push the variable button that used to be x, it now has t's instead of x's, so that, that's changed as well. Okay, so let, let's enter in this example we wanted to do. Uh, on my previous screen, I had that I wanted to graph 6 cosine t over 2. So I have 6 times cosine of t over 2 for the x, and then 3 sine t over 2 for the y. So 3 times sine t over 2 for the right. Um, oh, sorry, typo. Let's try that again. Right, sorry about that. Um, t divided by 2, not an exponent, but divided by 2. All right, so here's, here's my two parametric guys listed listed here and here. Now, before I graph it, let me, let me just take a look at the y equals, uh, I'm sorry, the window, just so, just so I can see what's in there. Uh, some stuff will look familiar. For example, the x min and the x max, we're familiar with those. That's the x viewing window. And the y min and y max is how much of the y axis you're seeing. And together, those will make your viewing window. But in addition, you'll also have a t min and a t max. If you want to sketch it over all t's, then just pick a very large negative t value and a very large positive t value and you'll sketch the majority of your graph that you'll need to see. The default setting is 0 to 2 pi, um, and that's in anticipation for examples that have trig functions like ours, um, but you can certainly adjust that. If you back up the t, you'll see more of the graph, uh, the t min, and if you push out the t max farther than 2 pi, you'll see more of the curve um, if you extend 0 to 2 pi in either direction. But for now, let's just leave it. Let's push graph. Um, and we get this shape. Uh, it looks like half of like an ellipse, which is kind of weird. It kind of seems like we should have drawn the other side also. Um, but uh, upon closer inspection, I see why this happened. See, if we went, our t values went from 0 up to 2 pi, by the time you divided t over 2, then we really only went up to pi in effect, right? Because we're cutting all these t values in half. Uh, so in effect, let's let's um let's change this from two pi up to like uh, four pi. You know, let's extend that t value out a little farther. Um, make it uh, four pi for the upper bound. Okay, and then let's graph it again. And you see this time, we actually sketch all the way around because we've progressed through more t values. And so I see that this parametric equation 
it has this shape of an ellipse. That's interesting. Um, now, if you say, well, well, that looks a little too small, no problem. Go back in there. You can either use a zoom feature or you can just manually adjust the window. Um, it looks like our uh, ellipse went left six units and right six units and up three units and down three units, probably due to this six and this number three. So let's maybe make it, you know, uh, X min of, uh, I don't know, negative eight to positive eight. And these could be arbitrary. I mean, you could pick them however you want to pick them. And maybe the Y min to Y max, maybe, I don't know, minus six to six. And then when you graph it again, you'll see it looks larger because in effect we've zoomed in. There are also some zoom options that I'll, I won't go through. I think they're pretty, pretty self-explanatory. But, um, but anyway, this is how we graph on, on a TI calculator. We change the mode. You type in your equation, the X for X, the Y for Y. You adjust the windows. You push graph. And this is how you graph parametric equations.